I meditated twice a day, every day for 30 days. I have been regularly meditating for the past two years, but these last 30 days, I didn't miss a single session. And so I sat down to meditate 60 times for about 20 to 30 minutes each time, which roughly makes it 1,500 minutes in the last 30 days, which is 25 hours. <laughs> Boy, small things add up, don't they? Now, let's get some basic questions out of the way. Why did I do this? Honestly, so that I could make a video titled I meditated twice a day, every day for 30 days. But why did I choose meditation? I could have done anything else twice a day for 30 days. Like say, bungee jumping. I bungee jumped twice a day, every day for 30 days. Now there's a crazy video idea. The reason I chose meditation is because it is life-changing. And I wanted to share that experience with you. Bungee jumping 60 times in 30 days can also be life-changing in that you could end up with a very serious concussion in the hospital. I don't know. What types of meditations did I do in these 30 days? I did a whole lot of guided meditations on YouTube. Sometimes I did mantra meditations, where you invoke a word, a mantra, that has been given to you by a meditation teacher, and this mantra transports you to meditation. And on some days, I just sat in silence, and I settled down within myself, and I slipped into meditation. If you are interested in knowing more about these types of meditations, there's some information in the description box that you can check out. What time of the day did I do these meditations? Mm, typically early in the morning and early in the evening. These are great times to sit down and meditate uh, before you've had anything to eat. But I do admit that on some days my timings were random based on how my day was going. What is meditation? To put it in a nutshell, meditation is that skill or that technique that allows you to transcend your thinking mind that keeps on having so many thoughts and allow the mind to go back to the source so that you get a rest which is even deeper than sleep that can really recharge you and give you so much of clarity and peace. Meditation is the act of letting go, of going into deep rest in a state of awareness. Meditation is not concentration or focus as is commonly mistaken and misunderstood to be. In fact, it's the opposite of that. Meditation is deconcentration and just being. It is not about having no thoughts at all, but it is observing the thoughts and innocently accepting that those thoughts are there. Here are my five key takeaways from this 30-day experiment. Takeaway number one, regular meditation changes the way your brain works. What we have discovered is that the circuits in the brain that are important for regulating both attention and emotion can be transformed by meditation. It is insane, and I have personally experienced this. Um, let me give you an example. I think I'm a good driver. No, I, I know I'm a good driver. Sorry for not being modest, but I'm being truthful. I'm a good driver. But for the life of me, I cannot seem to remember directions or names of places or things like landmarks. Let's just say I'm topographically disoriented. If it wasn't for the GPS gods, I would never reach home. And I've accepted this about myself. I even regularly joke about it as a defense mechanism. But ever since I started regularly meditating, something started to change. It seemed like I started to take an interest in learning directions and knowing the names of new places. I was shocked. I was like, who is this new person? This has never happened to me before. Something just clicked. Now, you could say that this is just pure coincidence. And it very well might be. But I have experienced this twice in the last two years and both times was when I was regularly meditating twice a day for an extended period of time. So I just finished meditating and my head is tingling. I can actually feel it. Like I can feel the tingling sensation all over. It's like something is rearranging itself. My palms and feet are also tingling. It's insane. It's amazing. Something is happening and I'm, I'm so thankful for that. This doesn't mean that I'm ready to start driving without GPS now. Don't be stupid. But something is changing in the way I process spatial stuff now. 
and honestly i'm excited for me and if this can happen to me with directions and stuff it can happen to you with anything else in life takeaway number 2 the quality of my daily life drastically improved when you meditate regularly you start to live life in the present moment i know is that part of the point of meditation is to return myself continually to the present to the moment and as you get to experience life more and more like this you will start to see what real living is as compared to just existing When I meditated twice a day, my head was clearer, I made better decisions, I slept better, I dealt with stressful situations better, I got to know myself better. And all this at zero cost. It didn't cost me any money this month to do this. Yes, it took time, but as a result of all the meditation, it also felt like I had more time in a day to get stuff done. The constant chatter of the mind drastically reduced, and sometimes there were just these periods of gloriously intense quiet. in my head this is bliss to have a calm head space anything i do from this space is automatically of a higher quality and produces better results i am able to flow unhindered on the paths that are best for me take away number 3 you can grow your own happiness what would you say if i said well being can be cultivated happiness can be cultivated at almost no cost with almost no effort well some effort but when you look at it from the bigger picture almost no effort meditators have higher levels of alpha waves which have been shown to reduce feelings of negative mood tension sadness and anger and if that wasn't enough it also physically changes our brain shape and size studies found that after 8 weeks of a meditation program gray matter was more dense in areas associated with learning memory processing and emotion regulation what boggles me is that we live in a time where for some strange reason This fact is a secret. Not a lot of people know about this. The people that do know about this don't talk about this, and those who do talk about this are usually dismissed by others as those damn hippies. I'll take a puff of whatever they're smoking. Ah, this just blows my mind. Of course, times will change, societies will transform, and there will come a time when this becomes common knowledge, when this becomes a way of life. Kids will be taught meditation in schools. and meditation will become a very common a very normal part of the daily routines of people around the world now you and i may not be alive when this happens but it will happen but you know what the crazy thing is you don't need to wait for times to change and societies to transform you can do this now you can try this right now try meditating for 2 weeks and experience a better life right now we can see that a person who meditates for even just 2 weeks 30 minutes a day is shows a different pattern of brain activity than when they started 2 weeks before and that is really important because it suggests that the brain really is plastic that we really can make these changes and that it actually doesn't take that much happiness can be cultivated or better still I know this is going to sound a little crazy but I'm going to go ahead and say it with complete and utter confidence because this has been my personal experience you are happiness and meditation will help you become aware of that take away number 4 meditation makes you aware of who you really are have you ever felt unsettled ill at ease with whatever was happening in that moment have you felt like you sometimes make choices that are not really you most of us grow up with a self image a certain perception of who we are and the truth is in almost all cases we are so much bigger so much better than these self images that we are limiting ourselves to the truth is we have no idea of who we really are no idea of what we are really capable of and i stand here today well i'm sitting but i sit here today and i say this with so much force and certainty because i have had glimpses of this reality every now and then ever so often since i started meditating when you start meditating regularly life becomes effortless what is it you want something you have some small desires some dreams in life meditate and just stand by and watch in amazement as you get all of that and much more into your life 
When you meditate regularly, you no longer live life within the confines of the small mind. Oh, this is right. That is wrong. I can't do this. She said that to me. Why do bad things keep happening to me? No. You make the tremendous transformational leap from the small contracted mind to an expanded state of awareness. You blossom in pure consciousness. Ah, I probably sound like an idiot to someone who's never had any experience of these things. But this is real. And one can only feel sorry for those who never get a chance to experience it. But it all, for me, seems like the same place we're all heading. We're all heading in the direction of oneness. We're all heading in the direction of love. And meditation is an invaluable tool on facilitating that journey. That's why I meditate every day. And that's why you should meditate every day. Takeaway number five. If you really want something, don't let anything get in the way. If you really want to do something, just do it. Just freaking do it. No excuses. Get off that cute butt and just do that thing that you want to do. There were days where I had to do my morning meditation in the afternoon and the evening meditation late in the nights because of work and shifting homes in the middle of this challenge. There was a day when I had to meditate in the car because there was just too much going on in the house. I just meditated in my car because there's too much happening at home, too much chaos. But I couldn't skip a single session these 30 days. So I'm here in the car. There were days when I felt like I should just restart the challenge because it was just not going perfectly, you know? <sighs> okay. I am a little frustrated right now because uh, the 30-day meditation challenge since the last couple of days, I haven't been able to do my meditations early in the morning like I would like to, being a little late. And I just feel like I should start over. I don't know. But then you know what, it's, it's not going to be perfect anytime I do it. At some point of time, something is going to be imperfect and I can't keep starting over. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Because the important thing was that I meditate twice every day and it wasn't about the time that I was meditating at. So, yeah, I'm just going to do it. By the way, perfection is a myth and the sooner we realize this and accept life as it is, the more life we'll live. And so I kept on going, day after day, taking those 25 to 30 minutes for myself twice a day. And I am so glad for it. I got so much benefit from it. We don't usually take the time for ourselves to do the things that make a difference to our quality of life. Those 15 minutes to read a book, that half hour for a workout, these are the things that we usually sacrifice. And for what? If something is important to you, if something gives you joy, if something drastically improves the quality of your life, make the time for it. Like, why would you not? Okay, let me just say that I feel so fortunate to have been able to learn how to meditate under the right guidance of teachers who have been so beautifully preserving this ancient and divine knowledge of meditation. I want to take a moment to thank my husband, Nikhil. Um, <laughs> Look at me pretending like this is some kind of an award ceremony. But yeah, I would like to take a moment to thank my lovely husband Nikhil who got me started on the path of meditation. Nikhil is a meditation teacher himself and you can sign up for a free introductory session on meditation by Nikhil if you want to. The registration link is down below in the description. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for letting me have the space where I can share my ideas with the world. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.